Yo, Elliot, I'm ready to start expanding the kingdom. I have a question for you. What do you think about this passage of scripture? Do not lay up for yourselves treasure on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For your treasure is for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6, 19. What can we as kings learn from the words of Jesus? Well, I'm happy that you're here in this program, bro, and you're making your way through the 12 King Commandments. And what you'll discover is as you go through these commandments and you come up to the 12th one, that it all comes full circle with a meditation on death. I hate to break it to you early, but that's where we're heading. We're heading towards a meditation on death and, rec and a recognition that all this is dust. And there really is nothing left to do but to allow ourselves to simply be. And so all of the, all of the treasures that are built up, like you say, they don't come with us in eternity. Right? Why do I say eternity? Because eternity is before us and after us. We didn't have it before. And we ain't going to have it after. It's all going to be taken away. Like you say, or like Christ says, moths, rust, thieves, it's all going to be wiped away. So while we have our focus on all these things that are going to go away, they're absolutely 100% going away. You can't take it with you. We're forgetting the fact there's one looming event that's going to propel you into what's next and what's eternal. And that is life of the spirit. So we could never forget the life of the spirit. With one hand on these things, we have a, another hand on what's next. Being detached, being mortified. This is why we do things like fasting in this program. Being detached, mortifying the flesh, being objective, not hankering, needing, wanting, crying for sucky, sucky, mommy, mommy, material, mama stuff, uh, existence, but atoning with the father, which is pattern, pure spirit. There's no other way to live a life because you will be trapped. We'll be trapped. We'll be trapped with things that don't exist. It's a Maya, right? That's what the Indians say. They call it a Maya. It's all an illusion, right? So how do you go about living your life? Well, that's what this whole program is about. Allowing yourself to be. If treasures come to me, great. If tre treasures leave me, let it go. If great things happen to me, great. If bad things happen to me, it's fine. Being generous in prosperity and being grateful in adversity. Is that dichotomy. And that's the best way to live. I was reading a book recently, and the author was speaking about how, you know, there are certain people in this world that accumulate wealth. And it's good that they accumulate wealth because they truly deserve it that they're attracting to them all which they deserve simply because of who they serve and how they serve and what they serve. They're not serving the money. And he was talking about certain people in particular. They're serving people, they're serving God, and the money is just attracted to them. But the problem is with those kind of people are the people that watch them. And the people that watch them see what they have rather than who they serve, how they serve, what they're doing, and how they're being. They want the treasure that that person has without being the kind of man that person has. And so all kinds of perversions emerge as a result. Jealousy, envy, and desire for that which is not theirs. Hacks, shortcuts, ways of trying to get things that you don't deserve. But what happens is when you try to get things that you don't deserve, when you try to hack the system or hack the situation so that you can get what you see somebody else have, your focus is not the same as that person who attracted it. 
That person's focus was on service. Your focus is on getting. You see the difference there? This is the same thing that it sort of happened to me as a transition. You know, I'm talking about Elliot in his 20s and into mid 30s, and then Elliot after his mid 30s and his 40s. 100%, I will admit, Elliot in his 20s and 30s, early 30s, was about getting. I need to get, I need to get, I need to get, right? Because I had a family, I, I wanted stuff, I wanted money. So I had my focus on that. All the while, I'm being who I'm being. And I'm thinking that it's me that's making this money come to me. It's me that's making this money come. To me. Look at what I'm doing. Look at how I'm being. Look at everybody loves me. They buying my stuff. And they're making this money come to me. So I'm over here thinking that it's because of my calculations. It's because of my hustle and grind that this money's coming to me. But then later on in my life, when humility started to set in, I began to realize that that's not why the money came. The money couldn't come because of my hard work. It came because I was being me. I'm just being me. I'm just being me. And once I started to let go and allow myself to just be me and not focus on the money, the money came even easier. And it's tough when you allow yourself to be who you are and it doesn't come. Because then you say, wow, this is not working. This, this, this strategy, this hack didn't work because I'm not getting what that guy got or what I was promised, but I'm still being authentically me. I'm still being me. I'm still being the king. That's really what this is about, right? Being authentic, integrity. Elliot got that. Why didn't that happen for me? Look. Elliot was lucky. I will tell you this, Elliot was lucky. Elliot was lucky because YouTube just came out. If, if, if Elliot had to start right now with YouTube as it is right now, I don't think I'd be as lucky. I was, I was lucky because I was one of the first. I'm just a pioneer. Huh? I opened the gateway. Now there's guys that's 10 times better than me. I know y'all follow them, watch them. Smarter than me, better looking than me, more consistent than me, better editing than me. They go, all kinds of things, they're just, they're just better than me. Right? I was lucky. And so if the, if the riches come, they come. If they don't, they don't. The whole idea is not to be attached and not to be needy. And I think that's really what the lesson is there, right? Why you say lay up for yourselves treasures on earth when they're just going to be taken away? They don't really even belong to us. We're borrowing it, really. All this is borrowed. All this is borrowed. You know what, though? What does go with us and what's not borrowed? The state of your soul. The state of your soul, the state of my soul. What is the state of our soul made up of? Virtue. Right? Virtue. 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 Be a man of virtue. Be a man of virtue. Be the kind of man that deserves. I don't even want to use the word. Be the thing to have the power. Let me put it that way. Right? Build the virtue. And so that's a great question. It's a great little passage that you, from the Bible that you offer there for me, man. Had me thinking about scripture. That's amazing. That's great. And so that's how I, that's what I make of that. Right? He says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So if the treasure is in the virtue, your heart and virtue is, is, is intangible. Right? It's of the spirit then that's where our heart will be. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.